Hey, my legion, how y'all doing? I got a video request video, and it's weird because in the good old days, video request you could make like a video request, and you could send it to somebody, and they just accept or deny it. But now you just have to do a regular video request to put it on your channel. But I actually did that. I actually sent video requests to people and kept the video on my channel too. And um, and it's to for they said rock and roll. Whose name is all who has who goes by a couple of names, Damiana Rainwater and also Lady Fonzie found that out and she's been very kind to me, very nice to me and she did something called Return to My Childhood, or Back to My Childhood or something like that. I have to I like a dumbass I forgot the title of the video that she did, but it's like Back to My Childhood or I'll correct it in the in the description. Well, anyways, she was talking about something called Fairy Tale Theater. I never saw a fairy tale theater, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I went to the home video exchange, the place in Emberweed, and they had a whole section, the kids section, they had a whole bunch of them, and they were in really fancy packaging, like red cardboard type packaging for back then in the 80s, back when video rental place were really cool. But I usually, I know what you're talking about, and I remember in the Army, I bought some uh, video, movie, resource guide that had a bunch of reviews of different video cassettes, not just... Uh, <clears throat> movies, but TV shows like that one. It was a show on cable, I think. And those always got like a two and a half, three stars. So they were highly regarded. Never saw any of them. Uh, I was more drawn to the horror movies things. Like, that was the place I discovered Blood Feast, the Horsha Gordon Lewis movie. And it was cool. It had that big photo from, uh, it wasn't Wizard. It was uh, Continental Video with a girl with a, uh, Laid out like that, her tongue was ripped out and there was blood all over the place. And I know my parents were really big on not letting me see Friday the 13th, but they didn't know I ran a blood feast. I ran to see that, and I had a million times bloody in Friday the 13th. My mother was really suppressive on not letting me see gory horror films. Look how it turned out now. You know, it was like a, it was like a game. It was like a conquest. You know, because they said, well, you're not allowed to see Friday the 13th. And then I read, like, reanimated. They didn't know what the hell it was. And it was weird because I wasn't allowed to rent Friday the 13th, but I was allowed to rent the sequels. No sense whatsoever. No logic. Oh, well. I thought that was cool. And I had a question for you, Damiana. From my childhood, do you remember this TV show? This is the one from my childhood. Do you remember Quark? The complete series from the creators of Get Smart. It was written by Buck Henry and starred Richard Benjamin. And it was one of the strangest shows about science fiction ever. It's about a traveling sanitation patrol car. It only lasted eight episodes, but it was funny. Tim Thompson was in it as a guy with, uh, where's he at? Yeah, he, the first mate, he had both male and, and female hormones, like a Bruce Jenner type thing. And they had a whole bunch of great things. They had uh, Conrad Janis from Working Mini. They had these two... Uh, Two twins that were the Barnstable twins that were in Playboy. And it, like I said, this show was funnier than hell. I remember loving it, and I was the only one that saw it. I loved the show. I was able to find it and get it on DVD, all eight episodes. And my dad thought it was funnier than hell, too. I don't know. If, I don't think he saw the show when it first came out. But it was in the 79, 80. Or 80, 81. I can't remember. But it was canceled. But it was really funny. Written by Buck Henry. Funny, funny stuff. I really enjoyed it. And then there was a guy named Ficus who's like a, who's a human, but he's also a houseplant. It really crazy stuff, but very, very funny. And they did crazy before uh, Police Squad did it on TV. So I want to know if you heard of the show Quark. I love this show. And like you were saying uh, about the video stores going out of business, yeah, it sucks because we're also going to rent our documentaries and our Mondo movies. But we both like the same crazy stuff. And I'm, even though a lot of the shockumentaries just reuse the same footage over and over again, I found that out. Like, um, a lot of the footage that these movies, like Traces of Death, not Faze, Traces, they were used to stuff from, there was used to was a series called The Many Faces of Death that had to change the name of The Many Taboos of Death. You know, and then there was, uh, they also borrowed stuff from Death Files from Japan, which was, that one was real nasty, I saw. It was either Death Files Yellow, I think, that was a nasty one. And then there was Death Files Black and Death Files Red. It was all in Japanese, though, but they have, like, American narration in these videos. 
And there's other things. Lots of crazy stuff that was on video back now you can't find anywhere. You're not going to be able to rent no Trace of Death or Face Death on Redbox. You're not going to find it on Netflix. You might find it on YouTube. I found Faces of Gore Part 2. No, no, Faces of the first Faces of Gore in there. But, I don't know. Now, uh, here you go. They said rock and roll. I thought I'd do a little video for you. It's a, my video response to They Said Rock and Roll's video Back to My Childhood. I think that's what it's called. Or Return to My Childhood. So, till next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion. Now I got to edit and upload everything. My internet is really weird. It's taking forever to upload stuff ever since Saturday night. So it might be a while before I get everything done. Especially that one fed two fast food uh, review. Or at least one fast food review. So just uh, stay tuned and be patient. And I'll be with you as soon as I can. Hopefully it won't give me too much problems. And until next time, take care of my legion.